Hey everyone, Greg Taylor from Trinity Web Media. Thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Getting us on YouTube, Instagram TV, wherever you're getting this content. Today I'm here in Yardley, Pennsylvania, and I wanted to talk about WordPress security. So, as always, I mean, WordPress security is a, always a hot topic, always a key topic that everyone talks about at different WordCamps. Uh, there are great companies out there like Security who will help make your WordPress site safe. Uh, WordFence is another good one. But here are just a couple of quick tips to keep your WordPress site as secure as possible. So one, never, ever, ever use admin or username or something stupid like that for an admin for a username. <clears throat> never. I mean, that you're just giving the bad guys the keys to the kingdom there. Other thing, God, it probably goes without saying, I feel really dumb saying this shit, but don't use password as your password. There you go. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. So other things that you could do to harden your WordPress instances, typically by default, the WordPress database table is WP underscore. Change that. Change that when you go ahead and you launch a new WordPress site. Change it when you migrate from one site to another. And change that. Keep them guessing. If you can put any kind of combination underscore there, again, you're going to make your site way more difficult for people to get through to. Another thing is change your passwords often. You know, use two-factor authentic authentication. You know, if you do some of those things, what you're going to do is you're making things harder and harder and harder. And what happens when somebody goes ahead and they try to hack into a site? They're not really typically, they're not typically targeting you per se. They're just looking for vulnerabilities and looking to see how they can get into something easy to do, whatever they're going to do, whether it's going to be inject their ads or, you know, their malware, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not, it's typically never personal. So if you do those couple of things, you're going to be ahead of the game. Next thing, always make sure your plugins are updated. Make sure you're running the latest version of WordPress. These are all simple common sense things, but it's amazing. Every time we get hacked, every time we see that a site gets hacked, one of these things are always typically wrong. And the last thing we like to recommend people to do is work with a reputable, good hosting company. Cheap hosting is not good. Good hosting is not cheap. We use Liquid Web on all of our stuff. Companies like Pagely, WP Engine, way better than that $399 Bluehost type of hosting. So if you do some of these things, you're going to make your WordPress site more secure and less attractive to the bad people. Hey, thanks for checking us out. You can always get more episodes of the new marketing show at trinitywebmedia.com. Wherever you get your podcast, you can catch us on Instagram, TV, YouTube. See you soon.